Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a program to accept a number and check whether it is an Armstrong number or not using recursive technique. So first we are going to see a question. Design a class armNum to check if a given number is an Armstrong number or not. A number is said to be an Armstrong, Armstrong if sum of digits raised to the power of the length of the number is uh, equal to the number. Okay, so you can see an example. 371 you have to separate the number digits and you can see the length of the uh, number is 3 right so it has to be raised with the power 3 so 3 to, uh, 3 to the power 3 plus 7 to the power 3 plus 1 to the power 3 right so uh, when you add this you will get the same 371 itself next value you got a four digit number so 1634 so to be separated and each digit should be uh, found with the uh, raised to the power of the digit that is length of uh, one, uh, 1634 is a 4 digit number so you have to uh, find the power of 4 and then you have to add it up and you will get the same value same way 5 digit number 54748 uh, should be 5 to the power 5 plus 4 to the power 5 plus 7 to the power 5 plus 3 to the 4 to the power 5 plus 8 to the power 5 so you have to add up all this and then you are going to uh, store it into a variable which will be equal to the input okay so that's uh, 371 uh, 1634 and 54748 are all the examples of Armstrong numbers so now we are going to check the class definition the description some of the members of the class uh, number uh, members are given below it is uh, not the number it is members now the class uh, name is armnum we have some data members available n to store the number l to store the length of the number so you have to find the length of the number every uh, every time okay according to the input you have to calculate then you have some member methods uh, like arm num is a parameterized constructor which has parameter nn now to initialize the data member n equal to nn so you are going to get the parameter and then store it into the uh, data member then uh, you have a function in some power INTI. I. So return the sum of each digit raised to the power of the length of the number using recursive technique. So this is a recursive function. <coughs> so it has to find the uh, sum of each digit raised to the power. That means you have to do some process here. You have to take the number. You have to separate the digits. Each digit should be found the uh, power of the length of the digit and then store the sum. So finally, you have to return the sum, uh, sum uh, return, as a return value. And the next function void is arm Armstrong checks whether the given number is Armstrong number by invoking the function sum for and uh, display the result with an appropriate message. So here you are going to invoke from uh, is Armstrong you are going to invoke sum for. Okay. So you are not going to invoke it from main function. You are going to invoke it from uh, is Armstrong. After the value whatever value is returned here, you are going to check whether it is equal to the input and display the appropriate message so you are going to see the program in bluej uh, I created a class armnum and then i declared two variable data members as per the question n and l okay uh, so n will store the number and l will store the length and i have declared another variable uh, it doesn't matter if it uh, didn't specify in the question specify in the question you can use extra variables so it doesn't matter but you should not leave off any variable if it is specified in the question. So that will, leave, uh, that will lead you to lose your marks. So if you have some extra variables, uh, they won't cut your marks. Okay. <coughs> so I am uh, including one more variable so that I can use this variable in uh, various functions. Now uh, you are going to declare a, before declaring an uh, object, you are going to declare a scanner object and get the number. So enter the number. So I am going to get, uh, input the number first and then i am going to create a uh, class object so that i can pass this number to the constructor right so i am num now be equal to new am num within bracket whatever number you input will be sent passed to this constructor so which will have this value okay which is stored in nn now you are going to initialize the data member n with nn and the sum value will be zero now length okay so you uh, either you go with uh, while loop okay you can have a separate function or in main function itself you can uh, use a while loop and count number of uh, uh, number of digits by separating it or the method i used here is i am just converting the number into string 
okay the value which is stored in n will be converted into string which is stored in s now i am just finding the length okay so is uh, is a uh, shortcut method to count number of uh, that is the number of digits in the number right and store it in n okay so now i have got the number as well as the length okay so that's the reason i use this otherwise you can use while loop and then separate the digits as you separate the digits you can count just uh, put a counter variable and then count and then store it in l so that also you can do next is uh, you are going to go to the main function uh, you are going to call a function is armstrong so it automatically comes here is the void is armstrong inside that you got an if statement if n that is input that is data member equal to equal to sum of sum for within bracket again n so i am going to call sum for okay i am going to pass the value n okay say for example 371 will be passed to sum for here so that will be stored in i okay as per the question uh, the variables used in the question is i so the same variables uh, should be used okay so it is stored in i and i declared a local variable digit so that i can separate the digits stored in i and then i can uh, find is uh, sum raised to the power okay now first is uh, the base case when i am going to stop when it reaches zero okay when the number i okay this for example 371 when it reaches zero uh, you are going to stop and return the sum value whatever stored in sum is going to be returned else you are going to execute these steps so you are going to explain this so whatever value i say 371 is stored in i so first condition is false so it goes to the else part here 371 is uh, separated digit first digit is been separated the remainder is 1 that will be stored in digit now you can see sum equal to sum plus uh, math dot pow digit comma l okay so digit will have the value 1 and l will be having the value length you can see the first value 371 the length will be 3 that will be stored here so 1 to the power 3 right so obviously you know that uh, math dot pow will always return a double value okay but sum is declared as integer okay you can see here it is declared as integer so i have to convert the double value into integer so that's why reason i, I use the type cast here so it the double value whatever you got will be converted to integer and then added to, to the sum so you obviously will get 1 to the power 3 uh, is the same value that is sum 1 uh, will be stored here okay now return sum for i comma i slash 10 so you are going to reduce the value right every time you have to reduce the value so then only it will become zero i value becomes zero when it becomes zero only you can stop this uh, uh, recursion recursion function right so you have to divide uh, by 10 so you will get uh, 37 again it goes inside uh, that is it uh, the 37 will be stored in i okay which is been called uh, again it comes inside and it will check whether it is equal to zero no it is not equal to zero it comes inside again digit uh, i person uh, person is uh, modulus value is 7 will be stored in digit now 7 comma 3 that is 7 to the power 3 7 cube will be found and will be added with the previous value now the next uh, return value is uh, sum uh, 37 divided by 10 becomes 3 that will be returned here okay so it will call it is calling by itself so it becomes 3 here so i value is 3 here now it checks whether the condition is equal to 0 no it is uh, 3 is not equal to 0 it comes to the else part again now digit 3 percentage 10 it will be 3 uh, again okay so the digit will be stored as 3 now you are going to find the math dot power of 3 uh, that is the digit 3 comma 3 that is 3 uh, to the power 3 that will be added as the previous value in sum and that will be stored then now 3 uh, math uh, sum for 3 slash 10 so what happens is you will get 0 question becomes 0 so it goes into the function which has the value i will be 0 now you are going to check the condition i equal to equal to 0 return sum the now the base case becomes true okay till that uh, this recursive case will be keep on executing once i becomes 0 the base case will become true now you are going to return the sum value so once the sum value is written where it goes it will come here right is sum so because from here only you call this function factorial uh, sorry sum for which is a recursive function the final value will be stored and will be checked with n if it is same then you are going to display n is a armstrong number else you are going to display it is not an armstrong number so this is what uh, this is how it works you are going to compile this program
and even execute will check whether the answer you are getting is so i am going to uh, check three values which is asked in the question 371 so is an armstrong number right uh, i am going to execute it again the second value so i am going to test with all the values so 1634 it is also an armstrong number close okay you going to execute it again so the third value is 5 4 7 4 8 it is also an armstrong number so whatever the uh, number you got in the question all the uh, all the numbers are armstrong numbers so uh, finally i'm going to check one number which is not an armstrong number we just will uh, while guess say 168 uh, it is not an armstrong number okay so this is how the program works and uh, to display the armstrong number hope you understood uh, this program i will meet in the next video till then thank you